What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve and this is not your average Jordan 11 low. And while the Concords or the Breads might be the best Jordan 11s ever, I think this shoe is the most exciting and unique shoe to be released in the last two years when it comes to 11s. Now, what's so special about this shoe other than some golf spikes attached to the bottom? I'm glad you asked. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so let me start out by saying that I'm an avid golfer. I really enjoy golfing. I belong to a golf club here in Detroit. And so I might be a little more biased than you if you're not really into the sport as much as I am. But I want to say right from the beginning, it's not just a matter of simply attaching spikes to a regular shoe and calling that a golf shoe because the design and golf shoes are a little more complicated than that. There's a lot more that goes into it. So when I saw some of these kits on Instagram where they were showing you how you can just attach your own spikes to a regular pair of Jordan 11s or whatever kind of sneaker you want and now you've got, you know, hype sneakers to wear on the golf course. I think it's a cool idea in theory in practice, there is just more that goes into making a golf cleat, especially one that performs at a high level. So I held off on getting those kits for my other sneakers and I really just didn't want to drill holes into the bottom of my coveted sneakers. So obviously, first thing you notice about this pair, aside from it being a really cool all white colorway, is that yeah, there's golf cleats on the bottom. So let's start with the midsole and the outsole. You'll actually see there's some sheen going on here with the outsole and that's because it's a molded hard plastic that has similar grooves in it just like a lot of other Nike golf sneakers, I have an amazing pair of Flyknit Vapor golf sneakers that have just this kind of blade-like tread pattern. And actually there are no spikes on that cleat and it still works wonderful. So I can imagine with this tread pattern and the replaceable spikes, I have to imagine that this is going to give you great traction on the course. And on the carpet here, I've got some pretty thick carpet that mimics grass a lot. I mean, my dogs seem to think that it, it, it is the grass sometimes, if you know what I mean. Doing some practice swings in this basement, kind of gave me a little bit of a preview of what to expect when I get on, you know, dry, good, thick grass on a golf course. We'll see how it goes in wet conditions, but for wet conditions, there is something really cool about this pair of 11s that no other Jordan 11s kind of have, unless it's these golf design pairs, and that is that the upper is completely waterproof. And the other really cool thing is that the upper is completely made from leather. So there's none of the ballistic nylon that we've seen, which is one of the staples of Jordan 11s. None of that can be found on this sneaker. The where you would find the ballistic nylon is all a supple soft leather. The lace straps that go up the sides of the upper here to grab the laces, also leather. The tongue is also leather. Everything in here is leather, right until you get to the interior where the lining around the heel cup is done in a cotton. It's nice and soft. And of course, the midsole, which is that molded file on, is also not leather. But um, as far as the upper goes, you're looking at a vast majority leather sneaker other than the laces and this little strip here. And that's just a really cool element that you don't see in a lot of Jordan 11s. I can't recall if there has ever been an all leather 11 produced before. Maybe there has, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna try and do my research and confirm that for you guys as well. There are a couple different design elements with the shoe aside from the all leather upper. You still get the 23 on the back here near the top of the heel and it's that nice printed on 23. It's not that other one that would peel off really easily. And right underneath that, you'll notice a stitched on embroidered gold jump man. So the colorway on this one in particular is white and metallic gold. There was also a cool gray colorway and a bread colorway that dropped as well. They all feature the embroidered jump man on the back. And the bread colorway actually has a different type of logo on the tongue. I didn't get a close up look of it. I couldn't get my hands on it because they all sold out so quickly. This was the only one that I was lucky enough to get my hands on. And as it turns out, it's probably the least desirable. However, for golf and the aesthetic of golf apparel, this white on white is gorgeous. I mean, the cool grays, of course, are gorgeous. The breads, of course, are gorgeous. But as far as like the golfer aesthetic, I'm really happy I got my hands on this pair. Well, I would like to have got all three. Who are we kidding? But I'm happy I got my hands on this pair because this is definitely going to be the most versatile for, you know, on and off the, co the golf course. The other interesting thing of note is I do not believe there is any air going through the sole of the shoe. I think it's all just the molded file on. 
and there definitely is no carbon flight plate, of course. And so really what you're looking at is a completely file-on uh, midsole and outsole aside from the plastic cover here. That's definitely a change-up from the original Jordan 11s. And unfortunately, without that technology, Nike didn't see the, the reason to bring the price down. But I guess it's made up for a little bit with the all-leather upper. And this is really a high-quality leather, kind of like the Jordan Bloodlines I just reviewed. Links up here. This is a high-quality leather. It's not like the leather that was on the breads that just released along the back. You can definitely see the grain in this leather. It's a little more plush. So all in all, guys, if you're one of those rare crossover people like me where you're a sneakerhead but also a golfer and you want something to stand out on the course, these are probably the coolest shoes to do it in. There are plenty of great-looking golf shoes out there, but nothing is like a Jordan 11. And for the longest time, I always thought the Jordan 11 would lend itself well as a golf shoe because of the patent leather wrapping around the bottom of the shoe. It's got that classier look to it. I was like, that's just kind of ready-made for the golf course. It just kind of makes sense. I've seen Jordan 1s, other Jordan sneakers that were made in the golf cleats before, and none of them quite hit as right as this one right here. So if you want to get your hands on it, unfortunately, you're going to have to pay up now because it is completely sold out. But I think if you're an avid collector and golfer, or if you're just an avid collector that wants the most unique and cool sneakers to put on your shelf, this is an awesome shoe to consider. I'm very happy with it, and I cannot wait for the weather here in Detroit to get better so I can go golf, and I will let you guys know how they perform. So thank you for joining me, guys, on this very unique pair of Jordan 11s. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider hitting the like and subscribe. And you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but at least hit the like to let other people see this content. It really helps with YouTube getting the videos in front of people. Helps me out, so that way if someone else likes it, they can hit the subscribe button. But I hope you stick around, because i got more videos coming on cool sneakers, getting more into menswear and things like that. So keep it locked guys please consider joining us on this journey to 1000 subscribers where i can keep growing this channel i love all of you for your support let me know what you think about the shoes in the comments below have a good day good evening good night whenever you're watching this and i will see you on the next one peace